Welcome to the e-commerce news network. We have some uh, interesting stories for you today about uh, the UK. Across the uh, United Kingdom, across the world, nations such as China and the United States are the biggest online buyers, but other countries are catching up. Approximately 87% of UK consumers have bought at least one product online in the last 12 months. That's pretty considerable. The United Kingdom is second only to Norway for making e-commerce purchases in Europe. Is that right? Norway is first? Norway has a very small population compared to the UK. It's got about 5 million people. The UK has got over 60 million, I believe. But anyway, the United Kingdom is second to Norway for making e-commerce purchases in Europe. So people in Norway must be buying online all the time. The most common purchases are online are for electronics and digital media, uh, including video games, music downloads, ebooks, computers and phones. The next sector is the fashion industry with clothes and footwear accounting for almost one-third of online purchases. Surprisingly in Britain 48 percent, pretty much half the people buy their groceries online. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Maybe it's because the weather can be pretty bad there. I wonder if it's, they sell more groceries online in the wintertime. Very possibly. When it comes to marketing, product reviews are crucial. Two-thirds of women say they consult product reviews before making a purchase. They want to know what other people think of the product, which makes an awful lot of sense. They don't believe, or don't follow advertising as much as listening to reviews. They want to know the star rating or the mark. They want to know the quality, they want to see the quality of attached photographs and they want to see when the review came out, the time and the date of the review. It makes an awful lot of sense. Here it is again, the importance of mobile for e-commerce. Mobile buying in the United Kingdom currently accounts for just over half of all online purchases, creating a value to the retail economy of 8.8 .8 billion pounds. That's over 10 billion US dollars. So that's pretty interesting in the UK. So what's happening in Russia? Russia's total, now Russia, you think of it as being like a one closed in little country. It's not. Retail e-commerce sales reached 920 billion rubles last year, up 20% from the previous year. That is 15.7 billion dollars. Just like China, Russian consumers, however, increasingly prefer foreign retailers. Last year, they accounted for over 300 billion rubles, $5.2 billion. A third of the market went to foreign retailers. So you want to keep your eyes open and start working on marketing in, in Russia. No surprise, 90% of goods pur purchased abroad in Russia came from China. In 2016, Chinese online retailer AliExpress, that's a division of Alibaba, became the most popular online store in Russia with over 22 million unique visitors a month. Russia's second most popular e-commerce retailer, Ozon.ru, is far behind with 9 million visitors a month, less than half. Fyodorov, who is AKIT's president, that's the Association of Online Companies, said if this continues there'll be nothing left of Russian e-commerce in a few years and we will sell nothing but Chinese goods. Russia will become a tax-free market for China and uh, it's probably not going to be just China if people all over the world wake up and realize what an enormous market it is. In fact, there's, I can't remember now, we covered it before, how many people worldwide speak Russian, but it's a tremendous, it's like 127 million or something people all over the world. So it's happening everywhere. E-commerce, cross-border e-commerce is happening. And if you want to know more about any aspect of e-commerce, you want to go to ecommercenews.com and there'll be more information there. Thank you for joining us. We will see you soon next time. Thank you.